ladies and gentlemen hello and welcome back to a democracy 3 my name of course is orbital potato we're starting a brand new playthrough today and you know what it's gonna be a little bit interesting it's gonna be really really interesting in fact I don't think I don't think I really know what I'm doing with this one but we're gonna roll with it we're gonna roll with it all right so we're gonna be going after an achievement and uh, that is Socialist Paradise. And Socialist Paradise is something that I have tried for in the past, but it's very, very difficult to achieve. You need to get an equality rate of over 90%, a poverty rate of under 20%, and the lowest working week possible. That is what the achievement uh, guide is telling me. So I'm going to believe it, right? I'm just going to believe it. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that we may very well be able to get on the way there. But, uh, you know, this is the main one, and anything extra we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to go along and select from this list if, uh, if it actually is going to fit into our Grandmaster plan. But yeah, Socialist Paradise is what we're going to be going for. Also, we're going to be playing as Scandinavia, alright? The Union of Socialist Scandinavian Kingdoms, also known simply as Scandinavia, is the largest nation in Europe and the seventh largest in the world with an area of... Whatever, whatever, whatever. So it's already a socialist utopia. So I don't think I don't think it's going to be super unbelievably challenging. But at the same time, you know, we're going to make sure that we crank the difficulty up fairly substantially. Maybe 175%. Very ambitious. I know, right? Uh, we are going to be the socialist coalition. In fact, no. We're going to be the socialist... No, well, socialist party or socialist coalition. I like the coalition. I like the term coalition. Sounds like a nice word. Coalition. Coalition. Just, you know, rolls off the tongue. And we're going to be up against... I don't know, maybe the Republicans. Yeah, why not? I mean, fuck it. Who gives a damn? Um, monarchy, we'll, we'll have that implemented. I think we're just going to leave everything roughly the same here. I mean, maybe we could reduce the innate socialism. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's reduce this a little bit. Let's reduce it to like 75% or something. So overall, it's going to be a little bit challenging. We're also limiting ourselves to two terms. So... It's going to be much more of a confined playthrough, I think, but I'm actually really, really looking forward to seeing what Scandinavia has to offer and where we can go with uh, with the whole socialist paradise thing. I think it could be very, very interesting. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we got a whole bunch of stuff. Got a whole bunch of stuff and uh, everything is, is going on. Wow. All right. So this currency... I'm going to make a, a very, very bold guess here and say that that is Scandinavian kroner. Now, something that I'm kind of happy about is that we don't start with a huge, huge, huge amount of red bubbles. I mean, we've got the asthma epidemic, but that's fine. I mean, that's deal. We, we can deal with that. Um, I mean, we are borrowing a lot of money. 23% 20, of our income is coming from borrowed money. That's... Very not good, but, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad. We've got 24 political capital to play around with. Kind of nice. And, uh, you know, socialists quite like us, but there are a couple of capitalists just uh, just chilling, making sure that, uh, that my life is not super, super easy. So, yeah, that's something that we should bear in mind. Now, we need to uh, we need to check out the poverty rate, and that's something that we'll probably do fairly soon, I would imagine. Um, but what else? What else? We've got the poverty rate... The working week and equality. Equality. Well, let's check equality right now. Equality is not as uh, as high as it should be. It's not as high as it should be at all. State religion. Let's try and get rid of that. Because we need equality to be at the forefront of our forefront of our thoughts. Religious people are really not a fan of us. Wow, you can get abortion on demand. Okay, that's probably going to be lowered because we don't want to we don't want to upset anybody too too much. Well, let's probably we're probably actually going to go straight to the next turn and do that because I'm really not a fan of mucking around with uh, with the religious people, especially since I just, you know, disbanded the state religion and basically said that that's that's not on. Not in my Scandinavia anyway. All right, uh, policies that we could introduce to sort of fix this issue. I mean, yeah, I mean, airline tax in the Kingdom of Scandinavia, I suppose that's something at least. I'm actually okay with taxing people. Like, that's fine. It's not a super big issue. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to raise, raise taxes, I'm afraid. Look at this guy. 
Ava, you're you're a you're a real looker. You really are. I'm I'm loving those teeth and that 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 hair. I mean that hair is just un unreal, out of this world. It really is. Um, I would love thirty political capital to raise the to raise the income tax. I think we probably will end up doing that. So let's go to the next turn. We've got a whole bunch of stuff that we actually want to do at the next turn. Uh, there is a budget deficit. I'm aware of this issue. I'm trying to resolve it as best I can. An airport expansion has just been called. All right. Uh, let's allow plans. Whatever. Uh, GDP is max. Why the hell is GDP max? Like it shouldn't be max at the the first bloody stage in the game. I mean. It shouldn't be. It sh why Why is it max? I mean, our expenditure is higher than our income, I'll grant you. I think that's what the difficulty uh, the difficulty setting actually changes. But it still seems a little bit ridiculous, you know, that we're, we're on full GDP right now. So let's modify the income tax a little bit. Stick it up by uh, a fair amount. This is also going to give a nice substantial boost to equality. Capitalists are not going to be very happy with us, but that's okay. You know, we've got to we've got to think in the short term rather than the long term. You know, usually I, I like thinking in the long term because it's the best way to think. But at the same time, I think this is probably probably a good idea. So equality is something that we are going to be continually working on and referring to, uh, and also poverty as well. Poverty is super duper low at the moment, which is really really nice. Alcohol tax and the sales tax are both contributing to poverty a little bit. Um, let's lower this to the ground, because why not? Sales tax is stupid. It's stupid everywhere. It's never been a good idea, but, you know, whatever. Um, so equality needs to be over 90%. I mean, that's going to be that's gonna be the hurdle, isn't it? I feel that that is going to be the hurdle. And also making sure that we get the lowest working week as possible. I mean, that's going to be... It's going to be quite difficult. I mean, we're already fairly socialist. I mean, that was the whole point. You know, we were going to start as a socialist country and just try and jack up the difficulty for once because we never seem to do that. But I don't actually think that this is going to be as easy as I initially thought. Poverty is going down. That's good because we got rid of the sales tax. Completely logical. Uh, unemployment heading on the, uh, the way up because of income tax and because of the mods that we've got installed. We are running a little bit of a budget surplus right now, which is something that we can be very, very happy about. However, I feel that our GDP is going to be uh, plummeting. Uh, pl plummeting very, 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 very fast. So uh, I'm hoping that that is not going to be the case. But alas, if it happens to be, then such is life. Such is life. We'll deal with it. All right, equality. Tell me equality is going to be going up. I mean, it really should be. It really, really should be. Sales tax is being cancelled out. Technology colleges. We just cancel technology colleges. I guess we just cancel technology colleges. I don't really know why this is a bad thing for, uh, well, for socialists and equality in general. I've never understood why that had a, a negative effect, but hey ho. Tobacco tax. Uh, I'm okay with that. It reduces the uh, consumption of tobacco, which is completely fine with me, but hey ho. I mean, what else would increase equality? I mean, food stamps will help with poverty. That's kind of nice. We should probably implement that. I am going to implement that, and it's also going to help with equality. But more importantly, poverty. Not like we really need to worry about poverty too, too much, but, um, you know, hey ho. That's that's the way things are. And then the labor laws, we want to, we really want to, to jack up the 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 working week. we want to make the working week go do super super low i mean how would we do that is that is that economic policies such as the work safety law perhaps not really doesn't really do that doesn't really do what we need i'm thinking maybe maternity leave and stuff like that uh let's send troops whatever uh doesn't make a huge difference i'm thinking that that may be maternity leave that is related to uh, that is related to the working week, or it might be part of it. Sun activity reaching dangerous levels. Well, that's bad. Poverty is is really, really low. Awesome. Are running a small budget surplus. That's fine. It's not big enough to actually do anything with, but it's just going to mean that we're paying off our debt from turn to turn to turn, which is important. Important indeed it is. I mean, I want to I wanna, I wanna just get the working week down. I mean, that's... That's good. That's good. Like... I mean, would it be welfare? Productivity campaign? 
maybe we don't even go down that route. Maybe we just raise this. Maybe we raise this even higher. I think we do. I think we do. I mean, it's going to cost us a lot of political capital, but let's face it, we can afford it. Let's let's do it. Let's go to the next turn. Let's go to the next turn. Let's see what we can do. Severe weather. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. And GDP is going to take a real pounding. Holy shit. My god. Uh, next turn, we are going to be losing a ton of money. A legitimate ton of money. That is insane. Severe weather. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, dude. Like, holy shit. That's crazy. All right. So capitalists, really not a big fan of us right now. I mean, we should probably try and appease them somehow. Maybe rent controls, cancel out rent controls. I mean, yeah, let's cancel out rent controls. Cost us a bit of money anyway, so... I suppose we can save that, but it wasn't really that essential. I'm more just trying to make it so the capitalists don't hate us. Which may be more challenging than originally anticipated, because capitalists are, are really, really bad. Alright, what is this? The leader of a terrorist organization. Uh, Osama Bin Laden. Okay. Orchestrated multiple terror attacks on our empire and is probably planning more in the time to come. We've located his hideout. Authorize off operation. Though we will deny any involvement, most foreign leaders will be able to guess that we were behind the drone strike. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know... I take, I take, I take the tough decisions so that the people of my country can survive. It sucks, but it's got to be done. The people of Scandinavia shall, uh, shall withstand. They're, 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 a, they're, a, they're a good folk over there. They're a good folk in Scandinavia. Asthma epidemic. Not a fan of the asthma epidemic, I must add. Work safety law did absolutely jack shit for the working week. Uh, maternity leave, consumer rights, no, that doesn't do anything for it. Maternity leave is here. Nah, that doesn't do anything for the working week either. I mean, what What is it that affects the working week? I really do not know. Technology backwater, wow. Ever since cancelling technology colleges, uh, that sucks. Uh, we've, we've, we've really suffered from that, actually, and that's going to hurt our GDP even further. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. That is just... Fantastic. That is unbelievable. That is really good. That effect is really bad, but hey ho. Um, industrial automation. Is that something that we want to get rid of? I mean, because industrial automation is so low, I guess that's having a positive effect on the working week. Well, we want to have a you know the lowest possible working week. So maybe, maybe we we try and encourage industrial automation. Is that what you're telling me, game? I, I I'm not picking up the signs that you're putting down right now, but you know, hey ho, hey ho, we're working on it. We're working on it. Uh, what about this? Let's get rid of this. I mean, this is a stupid policy anyway. It's it's a really dumb policy. Limit automated trading. It's one of those things that if you know how to play the game, then you should always just get rid of it because it literally has zero impact on the game and it makes the capitalists just that little bit happier with you which is kind of important actually nobody seems to hate us that's awesome let's let's have a go at just enacting some i don't want to say random policies but some fairly random policies that uh, that i think might help us hmm <laughs> a productivity campaign yeah whatever Trade unionists aren't going to like us, but productivity is going to go up, which is kind of nice. Now, does productivity... Does productivity... Does productivity have an effect on the working week? It does not have an effect on the working week. But that's okay. It doesn't need to. That's fine. I mean, nothing seems to affect the working week. Uh, the British Empire and Argentina both have contesting claims of sovereignty towards the Falkland Islands... Uh, well, we've because we've got the British Empire mod installed, I suppose. I mean, whatever. Garrison Island, fuck it. I mean, we are Scandinavia, but let's just imagine. Imagine that we had a claim on another overseas colony, such as the British Empire had over the Falklands. Uh, a Nobel Prize. That's actually not surprising. 
considering Alfred Nobel was from like Norway or Denmark or something. So in fairness, let's keep them all local. Let's let's keep the let's keep the prize pool local. All right. The polls are really optimistic. I mean, people freaking love us, and we've barely done anything, which is kind of nice. You know, I feel that we don't have to go absolutely, you know, batshit crazy, like, just at the, the start of the game. I mean, it's always, it's almost weird to play a country that is well-managed in comparison to all of the shite that is offered, uh, you know, at the very start of the game. It's, it's really strange. Really very, very, very strange indeed. Uh, let's check the working week again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to get unemployment down. Perhaps the way to do that is through military spending? Yeah? Maybe? Let's give it a shot. It's going to cost us a lot more money, but let's face it, we're socialists. We can, we can spend. We can spend money to make money. I mean, that's how it works, isn't it? raise this further liberals are going to be unhappy with us but we're going to absolutely shred unemployment which is awesome i mean is there anything else that we can do to shred unemployment could reduce uh, could reduce income tax not something that i'm thrilled about doing i'll be honest ah what about what about labor day bank holiday this must reduce the working week really really how does that not reduce the working week? Tell me, game, how that does not reduce the working week. Business startup campaign? Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's implement it. I mean, I've clicked on it. We might as well go through with it if it doesn't have a super negative effect on everybody. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I'm absolutely okay with this. I'm absolutely A-OK -okay with what is going on right now. All right, folks. That's going to do it for this episode. We're a little bit in debt. We are on a, a time limit. We're on a time limit, and I would imagine it's going to be a fairly short time limit. We're on a fairly short time limit to get this achievement, and uh, then GTFO, you know, get the fuck out. Because otherwise, this country's going to go to shit. So we're effectively doing what we usually do in the game, but backwards, right? So instead of taking a country from terribleness to greatness, we're going to take a country from greatness to socialism to terribleness, right? And we're only going to take it to socialism because we actually need the achievement. And then we're going to take it to terribleness because, you know, why not? I mean, on, on the route to socialism, things are bound to go wrong. Almost guaranteed. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Democracy 3. Until next time, my name's Norbert Potato. Bye.